Welcome to Caloocan Central Elementary School, Grade 4 Mathematics. Directions. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write it on the space provided before the number. Number two. The answer is A. Number three. And the answer is letter B, number 4. Your answer will be letter B. And the last number. Answer should be letter D. Let us have a review of rounding numbers. Table 1. Rounding numbers to the nearest thousands. First, round up. 45,894. The answer is 46,000. Twelve thousand nine hundred seventeen. Round to the nearest thousands. Your answer will be thirteen thousand. Round up ninety nine thousand seven hundred thirty one to the nearest thousands. And the answer is 100,000. Round down. Round 12,145 to the nearest thousands. And your answer is 12,000. Round 54,321 to the nearest thousands. What will be your answer? Your answer should be 54,000. Round 91,043 to the nearest thousands. What will be your answer? Your answer should be 91,000. Table 2. Rounding numbers to the nearest ten thousands. Sample number one. For round up, 25,240. Round to the nearest ten thousands. Your answer will be 30,000. Round 36,123 to the nearest ten thousands. Your answer should be 40,000. Round 49,546 to the nearest 10 thousands. And the answer is 50,000. Round down. 81,234 to the nearest 10 thousands. Your answer will be 80,000. Round 64,210 to the nearest 10,000s. Your answer will be 
60,000. Round, 23,294 to the nearest 10,000s. What should be your answer? Your answer should be 20,000. Next activity. Round off to its greatest place value. Number one, 650. Your answer is 700. Number two. The answer is 20. Number three. The answer is 100. Number four. And the answer is 600. Last number. The answer is 40. If you got all five correct answers, good job. From your past lesson last year, you have learned that when multiplying two-digit number, by two-digit number, first, multiply all the digits in the multiplicand by the ones digit of the multiplier to get the first partial product, and the tens digit to get the second partial product. Then add the partial products to get the final product. Our lesson for today is multiplying numbers up to three-digit number by up to two-digit number without or with regrouping. First, multiplying without regrouping. I will give you an example problem. Berta gave his 134 neighbors 12 kilos of rice each. How many kilos of rice did she give? In multiplying three digit by two digit numbers, The ones digit should be aligned and also the tens digit. Next step is multiply 134 and 2. Multiply first 4 and 2. So 4 times 2 is... 8. Next, you multiply 3 and 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. Then you multiply 1 times 2. That will give you 2 as an answer. So 268 is your first partial product. Next step, multiply 4 and 1. So 4 times 1 is 4. Next step, multiply 3 and 1. So 3 times 1 is 3. Then multiply 1 times 1. 1. Your answer is 1. 134 will be your second partial product. Then add the partial product. Just bring down 8. 6 plus 4 is 10. You write 0, carry 1. 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6. Then, bring down 1. So, 134 times 12, your answer will be 1,608.
Therefore, Berta gave 1,608 kilos of rice to help her neighbors. Multiplying with regrouping. Multiplying with regrouping means that you will carry out an addition. Regroup when the product of your single digit factors comes out to be a two digit number. Regroup if they are not in the furthermost left column. So here is an example problem. Berto raises a fund to give tablets for children in the slum areas who cannot afford to have one for upcoming online classes due to the COVID-19 pandemic. He raises 756 large boxes containing 32 tablets each. How many children in the slum areas can receive tablets? So 756 times 32. Multiply first 6 and 2. 6 times 2 is... 12. So carry 1. Then multiply 5 and 2. So 5 times 2 is 10. Plus 1, 11. Carry 1. Next, multiply 7 and 2. So 7 times 2 is 14 plus 1 will give you 15. 1,512 will be your first partial product. Then you have to multiply 6 and 3. So 6 times 3 is 18. Carry 1. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 1, 16, carry 1. Next, multiply 7 and 3. 7 times 3 is 21, plus 1, 22. So, 2,268 is your second partial product. Then add the partial products. Bring down 2. 1 plus 8 is 9. 5 plus 6 is 11. Carry 1. 1 plus 1 plus 2 is 4. Then bring down 2. So 24,192 will be your final product. Therefore, there are 24,192 children who will receive a tablet. Lesson number two. Estimating the product of three to four digit number by two to three digit number with reasonable results. Example number one. There are 819 frontliners who are on duty every day. If the volunteers provide bicycles for the frontliners that cost 8,739 pesos each, estimate the cost of all bicycles. Step one. Write the given numbers vertically. Make sure that the ones and tens columns of both numbers are lined up. Step 2. Round the factors to the highest place value. So 8,739, if you round off to its highest place value, will give you 9,000. And 819, if you round it off to the highest place value, the answer is 800. Step 3. Multiply the rounded numbers by setting aside all the zeros of the factors first. Then multiply 9 and 8. The product is 72. Put back the number of zeros beside the product and it will give us 
7,200,000 as the final answer. So what will you do? Count the number of zeros. So we have five zeros. Add five zeros to 72. So that is your final answer. 7,200,000. Therefore, the estimated cost for all bicycle amounted to 7,200,000 pesos. Example number 2. There are 384 pupils in Mabuhay Elementary School. The government budgeted a school gift pack project that cost 2,483 pesos for each pupil. Estimate the budget for the government's project. So again, round the factors to the highest place value. 2,483 round to the highest place value will give you 2,000. And 384 rounded to its highest place value will give you 400. Then, just multiply 2 and 4. So, 2 times 4 is 8. Then, count the number of zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, you will add 5 zeros to 8. 1, 2, Three, four, five. Therefore, the estimated budget for the government's project is 800,000 pesos. Example number three. There are 86 pages in the stamp album at the postal office. If each page can contain 147 stamps, about how many stamps are needed to fill the album. Again, you will round the factors to the highest place value. 147 rounded to its highest place value will give you 100. And 86 rounded to its highest place value will give you 90. So multiply 1 and 9. 1 times 9 is 9. Count the number of zeros. 1, 2, 3. So you will add 3 zeros to 9. Therefore, the estimated stamps to fill the album is 9,000. 